I got stung by a bee today. And it really hurt. And then the bee died! Today I am reviewing The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. And I'm giving it 4 out of 5 stars. The Coldest Girl in Cold Town is about a girl named Tana who lives in a world where vampires exist. Uh, and everyone knows that they exist. It's a normal thing. And there are walled cities called Cold Towns. And this is where vampires and in infected people who will become a vampire if they drink human blood have to go um, so that they don't eat people in the real world. <laughs> the thing about the Cold Town is, is once you go in, you can't get out. Tana wakes up the morning after a big crazy party uh, with a lot of her schoolmates, and they have all been brutally murdered and drained of their blood from vampires, and she is the only one left alive until she walks into a bedroom and finds uh, tied up her ex-boyfriend and some random vampire. And the vampires who ate everyone at the party uh, is after them, so Tana helps her ex-boyfriend and the random vampire escape, and they head to Coal Town. And that's pretty much the story. There's also a little bit of a mystery behind who this random vampire person is and why he needs their help and why he's accepting their help and that kind of stuff. And it was a really interesting story. I really, really liked the concept. What I liked the most about it was, first of all, the characters. I loved Tana and I loved her ex-boyfriend actually quite a lot. I don't want to give anything away, so I'm not going to say what it was that I liked about him, but I liked him pretty much from the very start, but as the story progressed, and his character progressed, I really, really liked the things that he said and the way that he acted and just all the things that happened surrounding him. He just seemed like a, he just seemed very, very real to me. I also really liked Gabriel, Gavriel, Gavriel, Gabriel. I have no idea. Anyway, he's the vampire guy and ha, huh, he, I loved him. He was fabulous. I loved the way he spoke because he spoke in like old English sometimes and it was just like, what? What are you talking about? Um, but then sometimes he talked normally. <laughs> and I just... He was very supportive <laughs> of everyone in all of their situations. And he was just... I liked him. I liked him quite a bit. I thought his backstory was also interesting. I think it could have been more interesting, but it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty enjoyable. I liked where the story went. I also liked that it's a standalone, and I loved th the way it ended. Like... Here, here's the thing. It actually, the reason I'm giving it four stars instead of five stars is because I did have problems with the plot. Um, I thought that uh, the things that you learn about in the backstory and the way the story comes together and the kind of little twist that you get at the end could have been explained further. I feel like it was kind of vague a lot of the times and I felt like there was like kind of a lot of information that you needed to know in order to fully understand and I wasn't given enough I also felt like the twist didn't really work and it didn't really make much sense. At least to me, I thought it was a little dumb. Um, but, uh, so the twist part of the ending-ish I, I didn't really like, but I did like like how the story completely like ended and how everything wrapped up. I just love the last few pages and the last few lines. This is my kind of ending, really, the way this ended is... That is the way I love books to end. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm obviously, again, not going to give anything away and tell you how it ended or what kind of ending it is, but it's my type of ending. <laughs> so that I really liked that about it. I also think that this, the concept of this book would make an awesome TV show. It doesn't even need to have the story of these people in it. Just the, the concept of the cold towns. And because in the cold towns, it's like, it's just a walled city for the vampires and infected people to go to, um, and humans who want to go there because they love vampires or whatever. Um, but because it's just a walled city for those types of people, there's no, like, laws that are being enforced and, or anything like that. It's just, like, a run-down, gritty shit town <laughs> that a whole bunch of different people live in. There's vampires, humans, there's infected humans who might turn into vampires, and there's a few different types of ways that the vampires get blood from the humans, and there's like raging parties that like humans have to like look delicious to get into and they have uh, this one mansion that has a whole bunch of cameras everywhere and is broadcast as a reality show for the humans outside of the cold towns and i just felt like the whole atmosphere of the of the book and the concept of the book would make an 
awesome TV show. I think that's pretty much all I have to say about this book. It wasn't my favorite Holly Black book that I've read. I've read other of her books that I've enjoyed more, but I still did really enjoy it. I love the characters. I love the concept. It was also quite exciting. So I why do I do that? Every time I'm doing book reviews, I always I always just turn and look at my book while I'm talking about it. Like just look at the camera, Nat. Great. I guess that's all I have to say. Um, if you think vampire stories are cool, or if you think the idea of the cold towns uh, is really cool, then I definitely recommend reading this book. It was definitely, it was definitely exciting. It was definitely a good time.